everyone and thank you once again for joining me on a shell finding adventure. The first shell, I just spotted it in here. Yes, it's empty. Oh, it's also a little broken, but gosh, I don't mind that one. I think they call this one a bent neck triton. Really love the, uh, the neck there, obviously. It's like a nice little like spindly thing. Awesome way to start us off. Oh, it was hard to see because of all the waves rolling it, but look at that one. Oh, wow, that is a very nice looking cat cowrie. Oh yes, it still has like all of its little like little um, brown spots on top of it. Oh, that could be a very good one. Oh yes, we have our first snakehead for the day. Oh, let's pick him up. Oh, he looks like a fairly good one. Very nice, always like seeing snakeheads. And our first crowned cone for the day. Let's pick up that one too. There we go. Ooh, very nice, got the tip and everything. I'm not sure if the pattern's a little bit worn away or maybe it just grew like that. Very nice. Oh yes, I almost missed that one. What do we have here? Oh, stretch, stretch. There we go. It's a very old and faded grape cowrie. You can barely see the stipples on it anymore, but there we go, it's a grape. Big old limpet, how do you look? Oh yeah, oh yeah, this limpet's fairly nice. He's very, very yellow, at least well, uh, wet. He'll probably turn white in the sun, but yeah, he's got a nice color on him. So, does anyone know what these things are? This is actually the, uh, the second or third time I've seen one of them. Pretty cool, they're very, very uh, contrasting, got like nice blue ribbony frilly edges on them. I'm trying very hard not to step on them when I see them because they are so small. Anyway, let me know if you know, maybe it's some kind of a nudie bra brank or something. Well, I just saw a fairly nice Hebrew cone right there. It's in a bit of a tricky spot. Let's see, oh, I'm gonna have to kneel down. Oh, it's furry. Oh, why is the ground furry? Let's grab you out, shall we, Mr. Hebrew? Are you, are you alive? Oh, are you alive? Let's give him a shake. Oh, it's not alive. Yeah, there's no snail boy in there. Usually you would see him in the gap and you would see his like little harpoon stinger at the end. No, this is a very old Hebrew cone, but uh, must be recently emptied because he's still got his like yellowy green outer layer on there. Awesome. Well, I've spotted something that I kind of like down there. I kind of like this little one. Let's take a look at that. Ooh, oh, I'm not quite sure what this one is. Little black guy with some white banding and like dotty banding. Yeah, that's a really cool little guy. Oh, do you see it right down there? Some kind of semi largeish medium-ish sized cowrie. Oh, don't drop yourself in the water, Maddie. Oh, let's grab this one out. What do we have here? Ooh, oh, look at that. Awesome, I love these cowries. It's a Kirika cowrie. Very, very nice. It is empty. There's just some rocks and a, a little shell in there. They come in like green and blue varieties. And I have not found a whole one in ages. Awesome. I really love these guys. Oh, what's that one? Half broken. Let's take a look. This one. Oh, pretty. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I've never actually seen one of these without a crab in it. Oh, it sits pretty nice even though it's broken. I do like that. Um, these things are called something like a NASA strata or a striated NASA shell. I'm probably getting that wrong, but goodness, I like the color on that. Oh, and uh, and right underneath it is a cowrie. Let's pick him up. Ooh, he looks like a very kind of like a reddish brown cowrie. Nice. Oh. Boy, doesn't that make you think I'm lucky? That bonnet looks pretty dang whole, actually. I'm gonna get my tongs out for that. Oh boy, these tongs have seen better days, but they'll be good enough for this, I think. Yeah. Oh, it barely gripped on. <laughs> oh, my tongue's bent backwards because they're half broken, but oh, sweet baby Jesus, look at this one. That is an absolutely gorgeous checkered bonnet. Absolutely empty as well. I don't see a crab in there. I will keep an eye on it. Oh my goodness, that is lovely. I don't think I've ever seen such a juicy rack line in the middle of the beach, but uh, 
Yeah, look what I've just spotted. Oh, look at that one. Wow. I thought it would be a stilitter because of the bottom, but look at the top. It has a lot of its brown patterns on it. I've been finding so many stilitters lately. Very few of them still have a lot of their brown on top because that wears away fairly quickly. But this one, it even has a bit of its brown on the side too. So that is super awesome. The tide is down so, so low today. I can barely believe it. Oh my goodness. We have snakehead with a lot of its uh, underneath pattern showing through. We have a small snakehead right here. Oh gosh, that one feels good. It feels like it's going to be uh, nice and glossy when it dries. And just a little orange cowrie right there. Very cool. I don't know the name of these ones. I just call them orange cowries. Oh boy, let's see what else we can find in here. Well, this has been the favorite spot for a while. I can't believe it. There's actually like no water rushing into it like, like there usually is. Oh, wow. That is also another very nice snakehead. Oh, it does feel nice and smooth. I think that'll be a glossy one. And what else did I see? Oh my goodness, there is so much to see down here. Oh, that is a very, very lovely crowned cone. Oh my goodness. Once again, or uh, because I haven't said it already, the uh, scientific name for this one is Conus Coronatus. Goodness, that is a very nice Coronatus. Oh, oh, I just saw that one. I just saw, I seed it. I seed it with my eyes. There we go. Ooh, we have the Inces Moon Snail. Very, very nice. Its condition is lovely. Just a big old rock in that one. Oh, right down there I see a couple of interesting things. First of all, oh, wow, look at that conical moon snail. Unfortunately, a bit of a broken lip and a broken tip, but wow. That band of colour going around it sure is nice. And I just saw, there we go. Oh, sweet baby Jesus, look at this Stilita cowrie. Oh my goodness, once again I am finding plenty of them, but this one actually has the majority of its brown spots on top of it. That's absolutely wonderful, I do like that one. And uh, I see another moon snail, there we go. And let's check out this bonnet. Oh yeah, this bonnet's all broken up. I think he might stay behind. A wave just rolled in, but I don't know if it's alive or not. Oh, right there, I'm stuck between that rock right there. It's an Arabian. I'm gonna be very careful getting down. There's lots of sharp barnacles. All right, all right, we're, we're going for it before the waves come. Oh, stretch ready. Oh, got it, got it. Ooh. Okay, up, 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 up. What? What? Oh my goodness. What? Wow. Guys, look at the bottom of that. It is a sub adult Arabian cowrie. Wow. I have never found a sub adult Arabian before. That is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. I would never have been able to get it because the tide is down super low right now. Wow. I am so, so, so happy with that in case you were, uh, not quite catching the vibe. Oh my God. I was just about to be like, oh, is it worth going all the way down there to have a look? And then I cast my eyes aside and look at that. Right there. Oh, the water just took it. No, it's still there. Looks like a Campbell's Strombus. I gotta go down and get it now. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. What am I doing? Oh, baby. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look at him. There we go. Oh, he's a bit more worse for wear than I thought. But hey, I definitely like him. Look, he's got like a little window into his soul. Cute little Campbell Strombus. Missing its iconic Strombus mouth, obviously, but I don't mind. Oh, lucky Maddie, look at that one. Are you whole? <gasps> oh, it is whole. Wow, look at this guy. Wowzers, I've only ever found one of these unoccupied. It is the yellow mouth drip, I think is what they call it. Wow, that looks so cool. I don't even think you'll need much cleanup. This one's a lot more um, like a pinky color than the, uh, the first one I found. The first one I got was very, very uh, like a light cream color. Awesome. What is that? I saw that from far away because of the color. Oh, it's very nice. It's an orange Mitra, I think is their common name. 
Very lovely. This one's got an excellent condition about it. Oh, I just spotted that one. Is this, I mean, it's got a bit of a break in the top. Let's check it out though. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, look at that one. I think it's a giant hairy triton um, would be the common name for it. Of course, it's got no hair on it right now. Super awesome, I definitely like that. Oh my goodness, guys, look at that. I wish I had an underwater camera. You see this checkered bonnet down there? He's got his little eye stalks, he's a live one. I won't pick him up and disturb him because obviously he is alive, but isn't that awesome? I haven't found like a, like a checkered bonnet that's been exposed like that before. They've always been buried in the sand and hiding. Well, this one's got a broken tip, I can already tell, but oh my goodness, what a big bonnet. Gosh, that might be one of the biggest bonnets I've ever found. Wow. Too bad about the tip, oh my goodness. All these shells were not here when I just walked through before, so it must have gotten thrown up from that hole. I looked at this one though, what's this? Wow, oh my goodness, wow. Okay, it's obviously broken, but look at this thing. It's some kind of volute. Ooh, yep, that's where, that's where it came from, oh my goodness. Wow, it has such a fantastic orange color. Look at those little dots patterning it as well. Gosh, I do like that. Ooh, up, 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 up. Ooh, there we go. I just want to check out what's in the sand down here. Oh, I thought that was broken. Ooh, look at that lovely white sand snail. Oh my goodness. Wow, absolutely love that one. I haven't found a white um, moon snail slash sand snail in ages. Oh, okay, I see a few things here, bear with me. First of all, a lovely, graceful cowrie. Oh, don't trip, Maddie. <laughs> a lovely, conical moon snail, missing its tip, but its color is very nice. And of course, I saved the best to last. There we go. We have a little clandestine cowrie. It's a little bit old, but you can faintly see its little brown lines on top of its, um, its dark brown lines. Oh wow everyone, here are the shell finds for today. And if you've enjoyed them, please hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more. But for now, let's talk about a favorite. And of course, I want to hear from you guys. Which ones were your favorites down in the comments? Ah, uh, but for picking my favorite, ooh, that's gonna be a hard one. Oh my goodness. I felt like I was having a slow morning until I went to the other side of the lighthouse. And I found another Arabian there. I found so many Arabians on the other side of the lighthouse. My goodness, a sub-adult. Look at that. Got a nice band of color straight onto the teeth. Very thin shell as well. It's absolutely lovely. And I showed one of the other shellers out here and I'm like, hey, look, I got a sub-adult Arabian. And they were like, yeah, we see a lot of them out here. And I'm like, they're probably jealous. <laughs> so this one is like, it's tied for my favorite. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I really, really love a lot of these cowries. We had a gorgeous cat cowrie, a couple of lovely snakeheads, a couple of lovely stilitters, and a curica. But my second favorite is going to be this one. It's just a bit different, super duper orange, you know? I didn't actually know if that was a shell or rubbish before I picked it up because he's just super orange and yellow. Even though he is broken, I think that is an absolutely lovely volute. I can't wait to get home and find out which kind of volute it is. I'm, I'm sure that you guys already know because I put it up on the screen, but uh, I want to know now. <laughs> so yeah, those two, the volute and the sub -adult Arabian were my favorites today. That's it guys, thank you so much for watching, bye everyone!